What's up? What's up, everybody? Oh, I had a lovely video that I was ready to post this morning. It's a lovely video. Go to upload it, right? Upload it. It's unlisted. Fill it out the metadata, and I get a notification. Copy flagged. Oh, my God. By the way, they, if you guys don't know, they can copyright strike you for something that you didn't even post publicly yet, because it's just it's all an automated system. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go through. I'm gonna have to edit the. It's from a music track, right? I'm gonna have to edit that out, but I thought this would be a great opportunity to take a look, since Special League just started, take a look at some of the wacky things that not even, not even I'm using, just the wacky things that other people are using in Special League. See what they're using it in, in like, against, and what combos they're using with it. And I think we might be able to find some interesting things. Also, a lot of people are playing around with some of the newly buffed units, so we're gonna be able to see a lot of stuff with that. So, let's get it started. All right, let's get it started. First things first, I saw a fire drunken master. I like the drunken masters, right? But the fire one, I'm not a huge fan of the fire one. He has an attack power buff. He has an attack power buff for, uh, with the skill three, and then he also has ignore defense as well. So let's see what he can even do. He's got the tiger punch. He's got his little, these two things, which attack power buffs, and then he's got the, uh, a lot of damage, actually. That did a lot of damage with Shimite. Wow. Oh, I mean, Shibate did a lot of damage there. More damage than I was expecting, okay. And he's super squish, he died very easily. But that Shibate is just gonna wreck face. That Shibate is... <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a dead Ajir. You know what, that's not bad, maybe. <sighs> but it's not, it's, 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 see, here's the thing, it's not the fire, uh, the, the fire Drunken Master that's, that's good, it's... Shibate is really good. This one is someone on my favorites, actually, and there's a lot of wackiness. There's Orochi, which you don't usually see, but Orochi, he's using it to counter the Miho. Uh, it was picked to counter the... The Water Joker ban! The Water Joker ban! I never thought I would see the day where in a ranked RTA match, the Water Joker is the unit that gets banned. Landed no dots. <laughs> Landed no dots. Well, it's a Miho counter! Miho's like, no, 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 Miho counter! Sure, funny story. Cool, cool story, bro. Miho counter. Okay, so now there's not really a lot of Miho counter. Now he's, I think, just gonna wait till he gets some dots on something else. Uh, with the dots on maybe the skill one for the, um, the Hraze Vogue. Try to counter with that, but... Now Miho just wins, right? <laughs> that's that's how this uh, plays out. Miho just wins. And energy punch, but he's hoping for he's hoping for the stun. He didn't get the stun. <laughs> Miho counters, right? If you showed me a screenshot of Special League RTA this season, like two years ago, I would have laughed and been like, "What? There's no way they're picking this stupid stuff." Oh my god! So he banned he banned the. Uh, the Light Mermaid, of all things, he banned the Light Mermaid. She was just buffed. Her heal is now, uh, went from tw uh, from 10% for part of her passive to 25%. So that's the one that he did. Reincarnate. That's going to keep uh, increasing her stats. I mean, unless she's CC'd, right? Uh, that's going to keep increasing that uh, that Light Fox's, that Light, light Ninetales stats. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of control on Coca-Cola's side. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, tanky, passive, passive, tanky, tanky, tanky stuff and on um, on the Japanese player side, hoping to eventually just be able to just nuke things down with that uh, nine tail when he uses reincarnate uh, enough times. Let's find out. I don't know if that's gonna that's gonna completely work, but uh, that's the game plan. Just bruise and bruise and bruise and bruise and stay alive and stay alive and stay alive until he can just one shot, right? Unrecoverable. Not too many people use the uh, use the light nine tails. Actually, there's uh, there's one thing with the ni the light nine tails is she's actually apparently good in the wind rift beast. And if it gets like if things get sketchy, she can actually solve it. That's that's what I hear though. I haven't tried it myself, but uh, yeah, because she can keep healing and healing and healing and uh, increasing her stats. So let's see though. I mean. <laughs> Coca-Cola is not uh, not doing any uh, any lethal damage anytime soon, but let's see. 
That's, oh my goodness, this is gonna be like a four hour long match. You know what, Triana's just gonna start killing things. Okay, I wonder what her, what her, uh, her stats are though, right? Because that wasn't, uh, that wasn't attack buff, that wasn't defense broken or anything. So, and I'm sure that Succubus had some decent stats. So it was just, the whole plan was to survive until he can get that, uh, ah, that wasn't that crazy much damage, but the whole point was to, like, survive until he can eventually, uh, start killing things. After he buffs his stats 9,000 times. Oh my god, this is such a, oh, this is why, <laughs> this is why I don't do Arte. I don't have to, well, I mean, I do a little bit, like... Uh, on all the stuff like that, but uh, I gotta get, I gotta get back to doing RT with the main man. I have to. I just I'm so dead. Set. I, I I need wings on China first. I need wings on China first. You know, let's go take a look at that uh, light nine tail fox's passive though. I don't know if you guys need a quick refresher on Chamy. I know I do. Let's take a quick look at uh, Chamy again. Her first skill triple hit disturb HP recovery. Her second skill is pretty decent damage. Uh, it does heals for the amount of damage dealt and then if you don't need to heal anything extra she does a shield right it's the same it's the same as soha the water one right uh and then she's got the attack power leader skill uh she's actually pretty good in the again like i said she's pretty good in the wind rift beast and she's pretty good in the dark rift beast um, I mean, if, especially if you're running like a light team, because then you can do a lot, a lot, a lot of damage with the uh, the way the Rift Beast works, uh, since you have element advantage over it. Um, and then we have Reincarnate. So this does not revive her or anything. This cleanses her, heals her up to full, and then gives her extra attack power and defense every time she uses the skill. So if you stay alive a long, long, long time, and use Reincarnate over and over and over and over again, especially with the RT with how RTA works, you get um, decreased HP and increased attack power. She's gonna just be able to like nuke things like crazy. So let's see if we can maybe find some more uh, Chamy stuff because she's like a long term play. Like she's the, he's the he was hoping to have the match last for a long, long, long time because then the longer it goes, the more crazy Chamy gets. This guy's crazier than I am, man. This JP guy's crazier than I am. Okay, so for the first two picks, it's fairly standard, like anti-cleave, uh, death, uh, death prevention, and then also a crit resist. And then the second two picks kind of telegraphed that he was leaving in all the CC units, right? Because he picked some anti-CC stuff. He had anti -C He Both of those things built already ready for that. Uh, we got the block beneficial effects as well from that Ashubel. He CCs and he also blocks beneficial. I keep forgetting that he does that, right? So we did that. So both of those beneficial effects are blocked. But the, really, the thing is, like, he picks the wind succubus. Can we? I, I didn't even get to that part yet, right? I didn't even get to the part that he picks the wind succubus, and he's like, I'm very serious about picking the wind succubus, right? So we are stacking this um, this light pumpkin a little bit. Oh, he's tanky. That's a tanky light pumpkin. Okay, increasing attack age too. Is he gonna survive? No. Well. He barely, barely, barely survived with Triana. Predator's Cry keeps him alive long enough. And she's on revenge, too. She's pretty squishy, actually. It's it's hard for her to be on, uh... Like, it's hard to get her on revenge and, and, and not just, like, die when she gets hit. You know what I mean? So he's still keeping this Light Pumpkin alive. That's the power of, uh, those extra couple grinds. That's just R5-ing a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Okay, so now he's dead, though. Now he's dead. Is he going to be able to even CC healing music? Okay. Is he going to be able to CC with this Selena? <laughs> oh my god. No, because he puts up the immunity. So now what's the game plan? Dreamy invitation. Additional turn. Wait, wait, wait. If he can snipe down this Ileana, maybe that's a crit damage uh, Triana. But if you can slipe, uh, slipe, snipe down this Ileana. Re remember, Ileana doesn't have a heal. She has shields, she has uh, immunity, but she doesn't have a heal in her. So, like a lot of other units that have shields and immunity have heals. Like if you think like uh, Chloe, you guys the invincibility and immunity. Uh, she's got a heal. Uh, Wusa, same thing, but, uh, but she does not. So let's see. That was basically a nothing. Is he going to be able to solo with the... He didn't even go for that, man. He didn't even go for that. Okay, he was he was hoping to uh, to kill that. How does he come back from this? I mean, Selena didn't really do too much of anything, did she? She was like, 
Uh, that, as expected, right? As expected, Selena didn't do too much of anything. Does he get the... He doesn't get the sleep. He doesn't get the sleep. Gets an additional turn. That's what won him the match. Additional turn. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's Summoner's War. That goes without saying. It's Summoner's War. He got an additional turn. That's why he won. There we go. There we go. <laughs> who, who, who legit picks Selena as like, this is going to be a good pick? I'm completely convinced this is going to be a good pick. The nice thing about the Water Werewolf is the Water Werewolf was a pretty decent unit before, and just his second awakening made him so much better. His second awakening gave him the stats that he needed to be taken seriously in RTA, and then also just a little bit extra. Sometimes these units are like the same thing with the Han, right? I was like, uh, Han is so close to being good, Han is so close to being good, then he gets buffed, and it's like, yeah, now he's good. Um, some of these units, man, are so close to being like serious units um, if they just need that little extra buff, right? That little extra something in a bounce patch to make them like, or, or second awakening, right? To make them seriously a solid unit. Now this one, get, you gotta prepare yourself for this one a little bit. You gotta prepare, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so uh, C3, what, uh, or, uh, Special League season just started. So that's why they're C3. They're probably gonna be, uh, wind up being much higher than that for both of these players, but uh, yeah, Triple Dice Magician, again, you only see this stuff in Special League, right? Triple Dice Magician versus Wind Gargoyle, right? Wind Gargoyle. First two picks of, um, again, two, first two picks of uh, Vigor Triana, which is pretty nice uh, two-shot combo. Provoked three units, okay. Provoked three units goes into Stone State. Pretty nice, um, not a, did I say two-shot combo? A pretty nice anti-cleave uh, thing. Okay, so took care of the Morris first. Morris kind of an underrated unit though. Morris has some CC. He's got a few debuffs. Morris the wind, uh, the wind dice magician. He's got some CC. He's got a few debuffs. More stuns. Those dice magicians can be really nasty with the stuns and extra cycling because they can potentially proc their own like they can reset their violent counter if they roll the same amount of dice, right? So it potentially is a little little gets a little out of hand. We even saw this like the entirety of like. Even season one and season two RTA, it got out of hand. Okay, we did, uh, isn't he supposed to provoke? He didn't really provoke very much. That wind gargoyle there. Uh, but yeah, Morris is an underrated, look at more CCs. More CCs with the Dice Magician. Um, Morris can just revive the whole team. That's why he was going for, that's why the Japanese player was going for the Morris first. Wacky, wacky comps, man. <laughs> very wacky comps. Okay, I kind of feel like, no, no CCs, okay, no CCs. I kind of feel like this is in the bag for this Japanese player. Should we, should we, uh, should we give Ken Baller a hard time about losing to a Wind Gargoyle? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, should, I feel, it's like, oh, Bago, don't even, next time I see you in rush hour. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. So this one starts out normal. I don't know how normal uh, Hrezvelg and Yang is actually starts. And then it goes to Selena and it goes to the Water Joker CA and... I don't even know, man. I don't even know. So we got a couple CCs. That's fast. She's fast. Okay, got a couple CCs though. Is he on despair? Wait, wait, wait. He, he uh... Is that a sweet? What? What? what I, 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 I'm trying to process all this. Yeah, he's definitely on despair. Wow, he's on like two despair sets, I think. I'm, yeah, I'm 100% positive he's on two despair sets. Uh, okay. That a lot of nonsense happens so fast, <laughs> so fast, <laughs> so fast. I don't even know what to make of it. A lot of people have some of their better uh, violent sets actually on this uh, Water Werewolf, even for normal season too, which is crazy. Really crazy. Okay, Merciless Claws. You know, he doesn't have his bomb up again. Okay, so that's that's GG. <laughs> what? We, what are these picks though? What are these picks? It's just gonna get weirder. <laughs> it's just gonna get weirder. Okay, so kitty cats and puppy dogs. Versus a couple uh, versus more kitty cat. No, 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 no kitty cats and puppy dogs versus Frankenstein's there we go uh, Bans the defense breaker Okay, and ooh, that's fast Fast team up nukes him down scratch Is he gonna be able to finish him off and then return dice so he's 
I mean, Tableau is usually, uh, eh, not always, but Tableau is a lot of times uh, synced to move at the very end of the uh, the turn order. Kind of like how you do Vertiheal in Dragon's V10. That's how you're doing Vertiheal in Dragon's V10, right? Uh, man, that uh, that dark dog, though. That dark puppy dog. Oh, rip, rip dark puppy dog. Rip dark puppy dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, the emotes. I forgot about the emotes. So they, they even show up in the replay. These emotes. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys want to see more of the dark puppy dog, right? Yeah, me too. I want to see more of that too. So it's a very, very, very fast team though. Just everything is very fast. And then Tableau sinks to move at the very end of the team. Giving the whole team, all three of these, uh, both puppies and the kitten. <laughs> both puppies and the kitten. Uh, and and ex basically an extra turn before the enemy can even start moving, right? So there we go. Does that finish? That should finish him off. That cat. He's got pretty good multipliers, so that should finish him off. And then he goes for the second one. And then that's not 100% crit rate uh, with that, that cat. The water cat has 100% crit rate as long as the enemy does not have any debuffs, right? So as soon as the, as soon as the enemy starts getting a debuff, like as soon as the enemy gets his first debuff, uh, it will reduce the crit rate to just whatever it normally is with your runes. But if there's no debuffs, it's 100% guaranteed to crit. This one is a little bit interesting. So we have a Molly here, which was just recently buffed. We have a Dark Phantom Thief, which we don't really see too much of. We see Water Joker that was just recently buffed. We see <laughs> Abigail, which was just Hall of Heroes. We see a uh, two-way fairy, and we see a fusion unit. Man, Special League is crazy. We see, <laughs> we see a fusion unit, uh, Fire Succubus, right? So. The one team, the Japanese player, is just going for a, like, fast cleave team, right? Fast cleave. Uh, the other team, the Korean player, a lot of passives. A lot of passives that's going to mitigate damage, come back from the dead, uh, give himself, like, the uh, invincibility. The Dark Phantom Thief does invincibility. When, uh, oh, boom, that's dead. That's dead. As long as they can survive long enough, uh, the bomb's just going to kill everyone. Boom, boom. Oh, no, it's not going to kill everyone. Okay. Thought it was going to kill everyone. You know what? That's still that's still enough damage. There's nothing you can do. Comes back from the dead. Puts a bomb on. If they can't come back from that bomb, that's game, right? Anti-cleave because he's comes back. He self-revives. He self-revives. He puts the bomb, and then they're like, you have to kill the whole team before the bomb detonates. Sounds like Labyrinth, actually. But, uh, yeah. Wacky, 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 wacky. Okay, uh, more Blushin. More Blushin and more uh, Dark Phantom Thief Guillaume as well. Okay, so he's going to... I mean, that could just randomly defense break. That's uh, a good unit to defense break for a water DPS to hit, right? 36k, no attack power buff, no speed buff. Okay, and Sien is almost dead. Sien's going to come back from the dead and stick some bombs on. Stick some bombs on some faces, though. Although the Orion, the Orion and the Shimite both have strips, right? So, I don't know why he went for that and not like the frame. He hit something that has invincibility? Why? I don't know why he did that. I'm gonna try to strip with the skill one of the Susano. This should work fine. Okay, so now he has that he's on borrowed time. He's on borrowed time. And he can give himself invincibility with this, uh, with the Dark Phantom Thief. Boom, boom. Or, or not, or not even need it, right? Not even need it. Anti-cleave, comes back with the bomb, and then borrowed time. Very nice. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Some weird stuff, though. I was looking specifically for, like, the stuff that you're gonna be like, really? He, did that? he picked that one? Why'd he pick that one? But Water Joker is pretty legit, though, as an anti-cleave unit that, uh, you know, comes back from the dead, plants the bomb, and then it's like... If you can't take that bomb off, you're done, right? So pretty decent, uh, pretty decent anti-cleave unit, actually. Anti-cleave comes back and ignores, basically ignores defense. Comes back and hits for ignore defense damage. Kind of. You know what I mean. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one. So many more videos coming up. There's a lot more in the pipeline. Anyway, that's it for this one. Like I said, I will see you as always in the next one.